We've covered some of the phone basics uh, from the call manager's perspective, showing you what the phone looks like when it rings and, and what it looks like when you put a call uh, on hold and transfer. What I'd like to do is just highlight a couple of the, the buttons on the phone that we didn't really cover when we were training on the call manager. So first of all, um, I just wanted to show you the, the basic layout of the phone and, uh, and what some of these things represent. So as you can see here, this is your volume control on the phone. So it's very simple if you go up or down, that's the volume. And each one of the volumes would be um, separate for the speaker as well as for the headset. So the headset button is there, the speakerphone button is there, and the one in the middle is your mute key. So when that's red, uh, the phone is basically muted. Um, so those are pretty straightforward. And again, these are your soft keys here. These keys will change based on what's going on with the call at the time. Uh, you'll, so, you'll see in, a, in the basic um, phone when it's idle, we have a pickup button and an unpark button. And we have that mode key, which we already discussed in the call manager uh, under the call handling modes. So uh, as we look around the phone, there's a voicemail button. And that is very simple. We press that to check our messages. Uh, the options button, the only thing we can do with the options button really is to change the ringer type on the phone. Um, when I press that options key, uh, when I press that options key, um, I have to put in the password for my voicemail. So when I press, press it, if you look at the screen, it says, please enter your password. So I'm going to put my password in. And now I can then edit the options that are on the screen. So if you look at those options real quick, you'll see call handling, off of preference, and the, really the one I only want to mess with is the one there that says change ring. So I press that and hit edit, and now I have the option to change my ringer. Once I change the ringer, I can pray the ring button to, to hear what it sounds like, and when I'm done, I would hit OK. That's about the only thing I mess with uh, on the phone when I'm using the options button. The rest of it is really being done by the call manager itself. Um, we, we covered the directory key on the phone. We also covered the redial key on the phone. The next thing I want to do is show you how a transfer looks on the phone uh, because it's slightly different on the phone than on the call manager. So if uh, my assistant would call me, you can see a call coming in on the phone here. So I'm going to go ahead and answer it. I'm going to answer it on the handset so I don't have the speaker. And you'll notice I have a couple of features on the soft keys. I can hit the park button. I can hit info if I want information about the call or I can hang up. So to transfer the call, I'm going to hit this transfer key and it's going to ask me how to transfer the call. So I'm going to go ahead and dial an extension and you'll notice I have a transfer key and if I don't do anything it's going to do a, what's called a consultative transfer. So as he answers the call over there, you'll notice it says do you want to transfer that call and I have two buttons. I have a yes and I have a cancel. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the yes button and it's going to go and transfer that call. So you can see it's slightly different from the call manager, but it's very close. And then the system always tries to prompt you with the soft keys with whatever needs to happen on that call at that particular time. The next key down is conferencing. It works just like the transfer key. And intercom is the ability to call someone and really come right through their speaker without actually having them to answer the phone. Uh, it's uh, used, I, sometimes we use it in an area where you, like a lunchroom where you're trying to find someone and you want to have them reply to you. Hold, everybody understands that. Now I just want to talk about one last feature real quick and that is the ability to park and unpark a call. Um, in parking, what that does is it puts the call on hold on your phone when the call is for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate that. So Matt, if you would, call, um, call the other phone and then park it on extension 200 for me. So now we see a call that's on hold on my phone. So what Matt did was he actually called my extension and hit the park button and now I can just pick that handset up and I've answered the call. So I hit the call and now I've got the call and the call was actually put on my phone without having to be transferred and ringing the telephone. Now, all right, so let me show you how to park a call. Uh, I've got a call it's for someone else. I don't know where they are, and I just want to put it on their phone so they can take that call wherever they're at. So I'm going to hit the park button. I'm going to dial the extension number, and I'm going to hit park. So what that did is that put that call on hold on their phone, so they'll have to do is lift the handset when they go back to their phone. Now there's one other option the way that we use the park, and that is if notice on the soft keys is the unpark button. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to pull a call from a phone 
because I um, the call is for me and it's sitting. So I hit the unpark button. I dial the extension number of where the call is put on hold, and I pull, hit the unpark button, and I've now taken that call back. So if you notice, I've now got that call back, and it says server room, so I'm now talking to that person. So parking is the ability to place a call on hold on your phone for someone else, or the ability to place a call on hold on their phone so that they can answer it um, from anywhere in the building. Thank you for watching the Business Telecommunications training video. We hope you found it informative in understanding the Shortel Call Manager and IP phone. We will continue to provide training videos on other Shortel products in the future. Thanks again.